everybody, welcome back. We are running the gauntlet again. It is happening in five minute workouts and once you enter the gauntlet, you can't escape until you finish four workouts. So this is workout number one. I'm gonna go through all divisions in this workout. This is a bike for calories and a max rep pulling workout. So in the all categories, we're using the concept to bike. All of your calories are posted. You just need to check out how many calories you're going to have to bike when it is your turn. We are gonna alternate between partner one and partner two. So we are running on a minute 40 timer and we're gonna have three transitions. So in the first session of a minute 40, partner one is gonna hit the bike and bike their max calories for whatever your calories specified is going to be. And then partner two is gonna hit max rep pulls. In the RX division, you're doing max rep bar muscle ups. In the intermediate division, we are doing max rep uh, pull ups, but we want your chin over the bar. In the master's division, it is max rep chest to bar. And in the rec division, we are doing max rep dumbbell snatch. So once partner one finishes their calories, then we go right to the bar, partner two will be ready. Rex Division, you have max rep bar muscle ups. Here's what we're looking for in a bar muscle up. How you get there, I'm not too concerned about. It's the lockout at the top. So we're fully extended at the top and beautiful. Thank you, Bill. All right, in the Masters Division, we're looking for chest to bar pull ups. So we want your chest just below your collarbone, anywhere below your collarbone to make sure that it actually touches the bar. Courtney's gonna show us a couple. So if you notice her chest is actually making contact with the bar, those are all going to be clean reps. Beautiful. In the intermediate division, we are looking for chin over pull-ups. So we want your chin to cross the actual bar at the top for the judges. So Courtney's gonna show us chin over pull-up. And if you notice her chin is going directly over top of the bar, those are all going to be perfect reps. Thank you, Courtney. In the rec division, we are looking for max rep dumbbell snatch. So as long as that dumbbell is locked all the way over top, both heads of the dumbbell need to touch the ground. And as long as you're keeping your hand away from your leg, so no leg assistance, it doesn't matter what hand you use, it doesn't matter if you're switching hands or you keep it in the same hand, you're just going for as many snatches as you can possibly get in the remaining time once your partner has finished their calories on the bike. All right, quick format. So as soon as partner one in the first one minute 40 seconds finishes their calories on the bike, they're gonna hop off and partner two is immediately gonna start their pulls. They're gonna pull as many times as they can for the remainder of the one minute 40 seconds. As soon as the one minute 40 second timer ends, partner one and partner two are gonna switch immediately. Partner two is gonna jump on the bike and gonna get through their calories as fast as they can. As soon as partner two finishes their calories, partner one is gonna hit as many pulls as they can for the remainder of the one minute 40 seconds. As soon as that timer goes, it is up to partner one and partner two to decide who is going to do how many calories, who is going to do how many pulls. As long as you get through your calories, you can immediately go into your pulls and finish out the one minute 40 for five minutes total. And that is gauntlet workout number one.